If you're going to publish your app to the App Store or Google Play, then each uploaded artifact must have a new version satisfying each App Store's requirements. You'll need to devise a build versioning strategy that satisfies both stores versioning requirements and works for your team's development processes as well. In this video, we'll explain the App Store and Google Play build versioning requirements, how the Flutter framework generalizes the build versioning and various strategies to set and increment your build versions using CodeMagic. When it comes to Google Play requirements, the important values we should understand are version name and version code. Version name is a text-based displayed to users and visible in Google Play. There's no restrictions for a version name, so you should choose something that makes sense for you and your users, such as major, minor, patch format. Version code is an internal version of your app that must be an integer value. This must be incremented for every build you upload to Google Play. This value is best incremented and set by your CI CD pipeline for every build. The main values for iOS and Mac OS versioning are bundle short version string and bundle version. Bundle short version string, which is the release version number, is the external user facing release version of your app displayed in the App Store. It must follow the major minor patch format. This must be incremented every time you release a version to the App Store. Bundle version, which is the build version number, is the internal build version number of your application used for testing and development, must be incremented with every release candidate submitted to test flight for a particular release version number. Flutter generalizes iOS and Android build versioning with the popspec.yaml version property. In Flutter builds, the build name major minor patch sets the bundle short version string for iOS and the version name for Android, while the build number sets the bundle version for iOS and the version code for Android. So, the first solution is to edit the app version from popspec.yaml file before I push my changes, but we're too lazy to do that ourselves. So, we need to let our CI CD pipeline increment and set the build number automatically as this should be updated for every build. We should know that we can override the build version using the command line arguments like this. So, for example, we can use one of the code magic built in environment variable like build number or project build number, which holds the total count of builds for a specific workflow or for the whole project like this. The best way, of course, is to get the latest build number from the store and then increment that by one using the CodeMagic CLI tool. To get your app's latest build number from the Google Play Console, you can use this command. In order to do that, you need to provide it with the package name of the app in Google Play Console. By default, it will try to get the latest build number as the maximum build number across all tracks, internal, alpha, beta, production and custom tracks if available. If you want to limit the search, you can specify particular tracks with the optional argument tracks. Additionally, you need to provide it with Google Play API access credentials by providing the Google Cloud Service account credentials as arguments to the action. So import the environment variable group that has this value in your workflow. Check out our video on how to publish your Android app to Play Store to learn how to create a Google Play API access. So, our build command now will look like this. In every build, CodeMagic will automatically get the latest build number and increment it directly. Same applies for App Store or Test Flight. CodeMagic CLI tool helps you to get the latest build number from App Store and Test Flight. In order to do that, 
you need to provide ABI access to the App Store Connect ABI. So import the environment variable that has this information in your workflow. Check out our video on how to sign your iOS app to learn how to create an App Store Connect ABI. So our build command now will look like this. And if we want to get the latest build number from the App Store, not the test flight, we can use the get latest App Store build number instead of get latest test flight build number. That's it about build versioning. Check out the documentation for further details.